Hello friends, in last video we discussed about what are the different types of sources, those are independent sources, dependent sources. Uh, in this video we are going to discuss clearly about what is independent sources and what are the different types of independent sources and what is dependent sources and what are the different types of dependent sources. Okay, let's see what is independent sources. Independent sources are that which does not depend on any other parameter in the circuit. That means independent sources are the sources, the value of the source, that means the supply of the source is not depend on the parameters of the circuit. Okay. It's not depends on the parameter. Parameters are nothing but the resistor, capacitor, inductance, uh, which does not depend on the circuit elements. Independent sources is simply says the sources which does not depend on the circuit elements those type of sources are known as independent sources. We mention or we represented independent sources like round a circle here independent voltage source is that and it is a independent current source. Uh, we represent independent voltage source as a circle like a circle and independent current source also like a circles. In independent voltage sources, we mention polarities of a voltage. That means positive polarity and negative polarity. In independent current source, we mention the current direction. This arrow represents the current direction. Okay. This arrow is upwards. That means current is flowing from downwards to upwards. This is known as independent sources. Next, what are the different types of independent sources means? There are mainly two types of independent sources. One is ideal source and another one is practical source. An ideal source means which supplies constant current or voltages to the load. It does not depend on the load. Okay. Ideal source means ideal source means simply remember ideal source are all ideal which is which are not applicable in practical ways, which is not applicable in practical theorems or practical anything practicals. Okay. Ideal sources are just assumptions. These sources which supply constant current or voltage to the load. It does not depend on the load. Ohm's law is not applicable. Because in ideal sources, resistance value is zero. According to Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. According to Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. We know. Uh, uh, but in ideal sources, R value becomes zero that means voltage also zero voltage zero means source also zero source zero means is there no source that means here Ohm's law is not applicable okay sources remember ideal source is nothing but the sources which delivers constant voltage and currents to the load it's not practically applicable and Ohm's law is not applicable in this sources. Next sources is practical sources. A practical voltage source does not supply constant voltage with increase in load. Remember with increase in load practical sources does not supply current or not a current constant currents and voltages to the load or to any element because in practical cases we have some resistance we have in, in conductor we have some resistor uh, due to that resistor a voltage drop is present at the resistance a voltage drop is present at that resistance okay that means here it's this uh, sources can't can't supply constant voltages or constant currents to the load if the load increases the voltage may be increases if the load decreases the current may be decreases likewise we can't supply a constant current and voltage sources in practical independent sources. This is about practical and practical and ideal independent sources. Next, we are going to discuss about what are diff what are dependent sources. Okay, sorry. What are dependent sources? Depend independent sources means the sources which 
does not depend on the parameters of the circuit here dependent source are reverse of independent sources that means it is defined as that source depends upon any parameter in the circuit okay it is represented as diamond shaped symbol like like this dependent sources are, are represented like this suppose this is voltage source huh? okay independent sources are the sources which does not depends on the circuit elements those are independent sources the sources which depends on the circuit elements this which depends on the parameters of the circuit based on the parameters of the circuit the source values that means the source is changes according to the parameters of the circuit the type of sources are known as dependent sources this dependent sources are represented by using the symbol diamond symbol diamond shaped symbol uh, whereas in the case of independent sources we represent like a circle uh, with polarities in in case of uh, voltage sources and current direction in case of current sources but in case of dependent sources we represent diamond shape there are four types of dependent sources first one is voltage controlled voltage source this is also termed as vcvs that means voltage controlled voltage source and the next one is voltage controlled current source voltage controlled current source third one is current controlled current source and the last one is current controlled voltage source current controlled voltage source in the first one voltage controlled current source means here voltage is controlled voltage control sorry it is voltage controlled voltage source in the first one voltage controlled voltage source means here voltage in particular element controls the voltage source voltage in particular element controls the voltage source value next voltage control current source means here voltage in particular element in the circuit controls the current source the next one current controlled current source here current in particular element or particular branch in a circuit controls the current sources current controlled voltage source here current in particular branch or element in a circuit controls the voltage source controls the entire voltage source of the circuit this is the this is about independent and dependent sources in electronic circuits if you have any doubts please comment me in the comment box okay thank you